Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell G7-7700 model and in today's video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and remove the battery or replace the battery. It's really easy and you can do it really under I would say top five to six minutes. It's really not hard to do this at home. And I'll leave the link for a new battery in the video description if I can find and I'll leave the link for tools that I use for this process. So I'm gonna keep this video really short and let's get into it. First thing first, you wanna power up the laptop and you wanna flip it upside down. Just remember by upgrading the battery, I mean upgrade, removing the battery or replacing it, you're not gonna change anything in the system. Everything's gonna be the way it was before. So I'm gonna grab a screwdriver set. I'll be using an iFixit screwdriver set as these are my favorite screwdrivers. And we are gonna be using a Phillips number one from this tool set. And on the bottom of the uh, laptop, you see a few his screws all around it, like a two on the side back, two in the mid, and one in the corners in the front. We are gonna remove all the screws, and all the screws are the same size and height, except these screws in the front corners. We're not gonna touch them until the end. So go ahead and remove the two on the side and two in the middle, front, end of the laptop, and keep them in one pile. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. All right, now that we removed all the screws except these corners, and the reason is because these two corner screws, they will not come out entirely. They have a little C-lock on the other side. The C-lock will prevent the screw from coming out, and it, it, the purpose for it is to help you to remove the cover because as soon as you start rotating this, in this screw, you're gonna see a separation automatically between the cover and the palm rest. So watch this as I ro rotate, and you're gonna see that gap opening right there, and you're gonna rotate until you hear like a clicking sound, and that's it, that's when you wanna stop. You wanna do that on the both side, both corners, and that's when you stop. All right, and right away you can see a separation in the front end. You wanna put it back down. You wanna grab it from the corner. And if it's not coming up because there's a little more twist. And then grab it and pull it up. And then you wanna yank it a little hard and pull it towards yourself. The reason you yank it because there's a tiny clips in here that holds from exactly from, I will say, where are those clips? It's holding right between the RAM. There's a little metal nipple right here, bumper, and it holds it from here. So when you, I said, pull it out, just pull it up, and that's it. And then you can put it to one side. And right away, you can see the battery is a humongous battery all across in the front end of the laptop. This is a 97 watt hour battery, 11.4 volt, but again, in here, some Chinese letter, it says 13.27 volt. So I'm going with this one right over here, 11.4 volt, 97 watt hour. So, and the model for this one, if you wanna order it directly from Dell, you're gonna use this DP-N, that's a part number, is a 09TM7D. You wanna use this one. But if you wanna buy a, of the, regular one model then you want to go with this model right over here which is type is 4k1 vm you want to go with this one i'll get the link and i'll leave it in the video description in case you want to purchase yours with that said let's get to removal first we need to disconnect it to disconnect you want to put your two fingers on the side of the jack right in here on the bottom jack not that, not in here here and you want to pull it toward the battery really hard and the jack will get disconnected. And right after that, you wanna remove two screws on this side, two screws on that side, and three screws in the middle, one here and two right there. So go ahead and remove all the screws. There we go. Once you remove all the screws, simply just lift up the battery and Replace it. This is a one, two, three, four, five, six tail battery. So there's a six tails in there. 
and they have one, two, three, four, and they are pretty much, uh, let's call it four cells because they're shared. So I don't know what kind of configuration they have in there, but they are actual six cells, but I can see one, two, three, four uh, positive. So that means there's a four cell configuration, I'm guessing. And this battery cable comes straight from here. So it's non-removable. So it comes soldered on the board. So your new battery will come with this cable. All you need to do is to put it down, make sure the screw holes match, put it straight down. And this is very, very important. Make sure you always put the jack straight in. Don't go sideways in. You align it, make sure it's straight in front of the jack. And then you wanna pinch it straight in. Do not go sideways at all. Otherwise you're gonna make a shortage and you're gonna destroy the motherboard. So always go straight in. All right, and the last part down here would be to just grab the screws and put them on top. And there's a really important tips for the new batteries I'm gonna tell you guys. It's very, very important. Once you have the new battery in there, you do not want to power on the laptop right away at all. It's really bad for the new battery. Once you connect the new battery, you want, before turning it on, leave it charging for at least five to six hours. After five to six hours, you want to power on the laptop without the charger. At, remove the charger, power on without the charger, and make sure you don't put any gaming or any, any stress on it. Just normal video, YouTube video, or a movie with a screen brightness up to 50% and let it, the battery drain down to 20% or less on a low load. Make sure it's not, there's a not huge load. So it will take up to six hours, whatever hour it takes. Lower the battery up to a maximum lower point that you can get. Once it's down to the 20% whatever, you can power it off and leave it charging again for four to five hours or six hours. After this uh, period of the time, now you can decide how you want to use it. While it's plugged in or disconnected the way you want it. That initial charge and discharge, it's really crucial for the new batteries. So keep that in mind if you want your batteries to last longer. All right, to finish up, pull up the bottom power. Make sure you put the bottom back end in 45 degree angle all the way down. And then you want to hold it down. You want to put the tighten up the screws on the corner so you can pull the bottom cover to itself. Do this on both sides. Once you're done with this, you can just screw down the rest of the screws all over the place whenever you can see it. Again, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out. If you have any question or request, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screws.